I just gotta say, them Italians is more deep than us. Money, guns, bodies, they got more of all that. We can't beat them. No, we don't need to beat them. We just need to make them bleed. Now, in power, when you kill one threat, another one appeared. And in most cases, the threat that replaced the original was even worse. After Ghost and Tommy freed themselves from the shackles of Felipe Lobos, it only opened the door for Dean to reveal himself as Milan, who is under Ghost's nose this entire time. And he got a full stranglehold on Ghost, where for one of the very few occasions we saw Ghost flustered and unable to think of a way out. Milan knew where he lived, he knew how to hurt Ghost, he knew his weaknesses, he had full control over the clubs, and he was also able to turn Tommy, for a brief period anyway, until Tommy turned on Milan. And you may be wondering why I brought the subject up of Milan, and it's because I think Rock and the Thomases are due to wipe out the Italians in Jersey, because both Rock and Sal indirectly just introduced us to an even bigger threat that they could face in Season 3. But was this something that was already foreshadowed in Season 1? We're gonna get back around to it after I've played you this. We can't make a move in Queens without checking with a fucking friend in the fish store out in fucking Howard Beach first. And that cocksucker, he always wants something in return. Okay, these Jersey motherfuckers ain't no real mafia. They just some damn bench warmers who answer to the big dogs here in New York. They ain't got no heart. The reason why Sal Baselli and the Italians had to hold back was because they couldn't make a move in Queens without checking in on their friend who owns a fish store in Howard Beach. So this is where I think it's worth rewinding it back to season 1 because Marvin in this conversation said early Tyler was talking about opening up an exotic fish store. Uh, early Tyler talking about opening up an exotic fish store. You know, we were like piranhas and shit. We could keep our business in the back with the aquariums and food or whatnot. So this is where it gets really interesting because just a few hours ago, Deadline released a new player for Season 3, and his name is Stefano Marchetti, played by Tony Danza, and his character description for Season 3 reads, The godfather of New York City's mafia scene, and the most powerful man in town. Anybody wanting to do business in NYC needs to come and see him first, or expect to pay the price. So, Stefano is a man we may want to keep our eyes on, because I do expect this war to come to an end as we enter Season 3, because they've just introduced us to an even bigger threat. And so far, Rock has enjoyed a good ride at the top of the game. But what about when she comes up against a threat and someone as controlling as Milan? At the end of Season 1, we learn shit never goes as planned, and it rarely does in this game, which is full of betrayal, greed, death, and Alpha is battling for one position. So season 1 finished with Rock standing at top of Baisley Park projects, smoking, and believes she just succeeded in her plan in killing Howard and having Unid put in jail for the crime. What she didn't expect or anticipate was Howard surviving and Unique being released. But not only was Unique released, as we entered season 2, ironically Rock's decision to put him inside jail backfired because he was able to make a new alliance, the Italian Mafia. Now the street game consequences come regardless of how powerful you are and who you are. There is always someone who wants what you have and you need to be ready to protect it at all costs because these streets are unforgiving which is why every single move needs to be strategic and calculated. But Rock's decision to expand her business into Jersey has caused her more problems than it has made her money as her drops were constantly hit by the Italians and the man who was behind it all was Unique with the help of Warrell because this was how Unique planned to get back in the game. And it worked, because Rock had no choice but to approach Unique and make him an offer to take over the operation in Jersey. So even though Sal and Rock didn't get off to the best of starts, they eventually shook hands on a deal. But we all know in this game, things can quickly go south, and so it did. Marvin was afraid that Tony may snitch, and so he sent Marco to kill Tony Deep, a hit which resulted in the death of Sal Baselli's son, but left a witness, Dominic. And because he was still breathing, he was talking. Now, the Italians have strict rules when it comes to conducting business. They don't believe in killing kids. But Dominic was someone who went against those orders at the Catskills, and he went around Salbacelli's back once again with a hit that got Marco killed. So unfortunately for him, once he gave up the information that it was Marvin behind the job, it was Dominic's last day on Earth. It was soon followed by Jimmy's last day after trying to kill Marvin. And we do have to say, Jimmy was very naive in this situation at the bowling alley. He was laughing and joking after he just took a shot at one of the Thomases. And don't forget, he missed. So he was way too comfortable and complacent when they were on the brink of a war. And the one family you don't want to fuck with are the Thomases. 
And so with Lou being the man to get shit done and get shit done right, Jimmy had his last drink. But one way or the other, shooters going out just how they live. Hard as hell. So now we're at the point where this is going to be an all-out war and bloodbath, which is one of the many reasons Brock wants to get out of the neighborhood. The Italians know where she lives, and they've been outside Rock's house more than once, and so does Unique. And the one place which you need to feel safe is a place you come home to, because even though you still sleep with one eye open, in this game, you don't want people knowing where you sleep. So patching this house has many reasons, but it still doesn't make it a home, because I really don't see Kanan moving in here with Rock. But purchasing a new house and getting out of Queens won't stop this war and Rock will have to have a guard up because this war will either end in bloodshed for the Italians or it ends in bloodshed for the Thomases. And for those who have watched the preview for episode 10 and from what Lou's been saying of the entirety of season 2, the Italians roll deep and they have numbers. But Rock also made a call to bring in more bodies and there's going to be a hell of a lot of gunfire, blood and death. Which is why Unique is playing a very clever game of not getting in the middle of this beef between Sal and Rock. One of the most realist characters we have on Raising Kanan is Unique. And sure, he gave up Rock's product that was going into Jersey because let's not forget, Rock dimed out Unique's re-up to Howard in Season 1. But Unique has kept it real from Day 1. He didn't start the war with Rock. He was more than fair in agreeing the territory they split. But it was Kanan and D-Wiz who gunned down Buck 20, which caused a tension between Unique and Rock. But despite everything that Rock did to Unique, he still didn't snitch because he lives and dies by the street. And when and if Unique does go out, he's gonna go out on his terms. I also do think Unique has a bigger plan. I think he's watching this from afar and seeing the bodies of Marco, Dominic and Jimmy all drop and thinking, maybe he can take advantage of the situation if the Italians do get wiped out in Jersey because he likes it in Jersey. It's a vacation. You know, I don't know why he's be sitting on New Jersey. I like it out here. Feels like vacation. Pay vacation at that. So who knows, Unique may be thinking, if the Italians do get wiped out, there's a territory that's waiting for a new king. And Unique doesn't have to show loyalty to the Italians, because he knows deep down what they are, a racist bunch. We've seen Dominic and Sal curse plenty, which is why Dominic quickly made himself one of my most hated characters in power. So the war is coming, and it's all about to be a bloodbath, but who comes out on top? I do think it's going to be the Thomases, and somehow Unique will be involved. But as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, they may just sleepwalk into a bit even bigger threat, which may mean they have to wear it together in the long term. So drop all your thoughts down below on the mystery man who owns this fish store. And after the Italians, will they face a bigger threat? Let me know who you guys also think survives going into season 3, because I think Sal is about to have his last smoke. So drop all your predictions on this war down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 3 and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.